Well, hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Weekday Podcast. As always, I'm so honored. I really am. I'm so honored that you take a few minutes of your day to hang out with us. My hope is that every single weekday, these podcasts would offer encouragement for the rest of your day and really give you some fuel and some help as you live this out. Well, today on the podcast, I want to start with a story of a phone call that I had with a friend earlier today that my guess is you can relate to. He was conducting business with this local business and he was frustrated by it. He felt like he was getting the runaround. He felt like they were changing their story. He felt like they were trying to rip him off and the moment that he tried to push back on them, they would change their story over and over again. And he said to me, basically to the fact, he said, have you ever had one of those moments where you just want to take your Bible and hide it underneath the table, push it under the table and take matters into your own hands and just go off. Have you ever had one of those moments? Man, I certainly have where you're a believer, you love Jesus, but man, sometimes you just want to take matters into your own hands. Well, today on the podcast, this is what I call a feel good sin. Now, hang with me because chances are you are thinking of something else, but let me tell you what I mean by this. A feel-good sin is a, is a sin that you feel good on the other side of it. There are some sins that you feel guilty afterwards, but there are other sins that you actually feel better after you commit them. It reminds me of something that C.S. Lewis wrote in Mere Christianity. Now, let me read this quote to you. Track with me and, and hang to the other side of this. He wrote, The sins of the flesh are bad but they are the least bad of all sins. That's very interesting. He says, the sins of the flesh are bad, but they are the least bad of all sins. All the worst pleasures are purely spiritual. The pleasure of putting other people in the wrong, of bossing, of patronizing and spoiling sport and backbiting, the pleasure of power, of hatred. For there are two things inside me competing with the human self, which I must try to become. They are the animal self, and the diabolical self. The diabolical self is the worst of the two. This is why a cold, self-righteous prig who goes regularly to church may be far nearer to hell than a prostitute. But of course, it is better to be neither. My guess is when you saw the title of today's episode or podcast, you thought, feel good sense. I get it. You probably thought of what C.S. Lewis calls here the animal sins, the sins of the flesh, of lust and sex and all the, all those sorts of fleshly kind of things of eating and on and on and on. We could we could go through the whole list, and definitely those feel good in the moment, but typically, especially if you're a Christ follower, you feel worse on the other side of those because you feel guilt, you feel shame, you feel the separation those cause. But what he talks about here when he talks about the diabolical sins, he says these are the sins that we feel justified for. These are the sins where when we judge others or we go off on them or we talk behind their backs and on and on and on, these sins, he says, are even more dangerous. Why? Because we feel justified when we do it. We feel right when we do it. We feel better when we've gotten it off of our chest and they feel so right that we don't even realize that they're actually very wrong. That's the problem with them. That's the danger with them. You and I, we don't feel guilty. We often feel good. And so here's a good litmus test for the podcast today. How are you doing with this? How are you doing with what Jesus said? Jesus, when he taught and he said, somebody strikes you, what do you do? He says, you turn the other cheek. You don't strike them back. You don't go off. You don't talk behind their back. You don't prove how wrong they are. You don't steamroll them. Instead, he says, you turn the other cheek. So here's the litmus test today. How are you doing with these feel-good sins? That last encounter that you had where you wanted to take the bait and go off, what did you do? Did you turn the other cheek? If you didn't, that's an indicator. You still got some work to do. I know I do. Well, today, I hope this is helpful to you. Th these are both sins. I'm not downplaying one or the other. There's both animal sins and diabolical sins, but I tend to agree with C.S. Lewis on this one. The diabolical self is the worst of the two. So I want to encourage you today. Don't take the bait. Don't, uh, don't give in. Fight the diabolical sin today and turn the other cheek. Man, I hope this is encouraging to you. I hope this is helpful. 
you're looking for other ways to be encouraged today, check out the weekdaymeditation.com. And then as always, I'd love for you to swing by my blog at yourbetterstory.com and Pastor Chuck's blog at achuckallen.com. Have a great day. We'll see you back here soon.